Global population is getting older. By 2050, almost one in five people on the planet will be age 65 and older. This is a huge change from the past with many implications for society and has many people worried about how we'll cope with challenges to healthcare, labor, and the economy. All of this stems from the fact that more of us in the 21st century are living longer lives than ever before. But our longevity isn't new. It doesn't just stem from recent achievements of clean water and antibiotics. In my new book, Seven Decades, How Evolution Made Us Live Longer, I challenge the belief that lifespan over most of our evolutionary past was nasty, brutish, and short. I explore how our capacity for long life came to be, and armed with this knowledge, I illustrate ways we can transform how we currently think about aging. Now, we don't need a time machine to learn about how our ancestors lived and aged. By living among small-scale societies of non-industrialized foragers and farmers over the past two decades and studying their life ways and many aspects of their health, I've gained new insights into how and why we live long lives and what it means to age well. So much of what we already know comes from studies in the global north, especially the U.S. and Europe. My book instead takes us around the world to draw important lessons from our ancestral history, bridging the past with the present to reveal what healthy, happy, and productive old age could look like for all generations.